Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and a very happy Friday to you all. Today, we're going to be talking about a brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figure, one that is an exclusive to his online toy store. So you can only get it via the McFarlaneStore.com. This is a character. It's one of my, let's say, deep cut personal favorites. And of course, we're talking about Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex, when I first encountered this character growing up, was from the Batman the Animated Series episode Showdown, of which he's seen more as an elderly Jonah Hex, or at least up there in the years. He's been every which way. He's kind of a time traveler. He's an Old West hero, weird Western tales, Hex, when he kind of became a post-apocalyptic kind of thing. He's kind of gone every which way. So he's an interesting character, but at the heart of Jonah Hex, he's a Confederate soldier that just is a bounty hunter out for vengeance. So if you want the character, if you want the figure that we're going to be discussing today, you can head over to the McFarlandStore.com and use the code MTS10 and get 10% off your order. At least there's something. I ordered one myself. It came out to about 74 bucks shipped. I did the bare minimum shipping and I recommend you do the same. So, Jonah Hex now joins the DC Multiverse. And I have to say, again, this was one of those characters that when he was revealed, I was like, that's that's right up my alley. I'm a big Western fan. I enjoy Jonah Hex. Those are the type of characters, the very deep cut characters that I like. And I'm glad to see them getting some representation amidst the DC Multiverse line. He does have cloth goods. He's got a scarred face, whether or not it's from a tomahawk, depending on continuity-wise, but that's just the one that I go with. I'm gonna tell you, I have to see it in hand better. It's not the best looking sculpt, just looking at it this way, but it is Jonah Hex. He has that skin that kind of drips down over his mouth. He kind of has like a Two-Face thing going on, Harvey Dent style. But let's see how it looks in hand. I did order the figure, like I said, so it's not really keeping me from doing anything with it, but you get the idea. It could have been maybe just a little bit more, a little bit more chutzpah to it. Now, in terms of Jonah Hex and his cloth goods trench coat, the trench coat looks okay, just okay. It, it, you, you do a couple things here and there, it kind of gets Mezco dollish. Let's be honest. But I like that you have variances on all the belts, the weapon holders. That's pretty cool. You get the tomahawk. You get the knife. You get the sword. Again, he's got the blue jeans, the boots. He's very much Jonah Hex. Like if you said, hey, the guy in the cowboy hat, who's that? Yeah, that looks like Jonah Hex to me. Although, you know, a couple things here and there could have been spruced up. But again, I like all the weapon storage he's got going on, the variances on the belts. He also comes with a horse. So in thinking about it this way, we just looked at Ghost Rider and I always say, you gotta have the complete package. You can't package Ghost Rider and they have done it without a bike. So you can't really have Jonah Hex without certain elements. Yes, he does need a horse. No, he doesn't absolutely need a horse, but the fact that they gave him the horse as a complete Jonah Hex package, you'll never need another Jonah Hex, right? You got the whole dealio. So in that sense, I'm happy. And it looks to be the same exact horse from the Witcher line, which I'm totally okay with. And as long as the horse looks good, maybe they've added some parts and pieces, some different paints, something like that. They just kind of differentiate it, but it's a horse. So I'm not going to be too hard up on it. Most horses will just say in general, look the same as long as it does what you want it to do and posing him on a horse. Well, that's what I would plan to do with this. <laughs> so again, complete package, all the weapons, accessories, and yes, your eyes do not deceive you. He does come with guns. And they did discuss this at this prior year's WonderCon. So it's the idea that they're kind of settling back into that. But I would say if they're going to do weapons, it probably will be something like this, where it's an online exclusive. It's not in stores or it's more directly for the collector's line. So it remains to be seen if, in fact, when you have the more expensive $30 collector's line, as that is really supposed to be over in the Funko NECA kind of entertainment section. So it's not 
child friendly. You know, that's kind of how they get around that whole deal. It remains to be seen. But for now, yes, I am thoroughly stoked that Jonah Hex, the old Western war hero, comes with his revolvers, comes with a shotgun, it comes with the the belt. It just everything looks good. So again, complete package for Jonah Hex in general. But then are you a Jonah Hex fan? This is going to be a deep cut. Not everyone knows who Jonah Hex. Not everyone's going to care about Jonah Hex. This is going to set you back 70 bucks. Is it worth 70 bucks? It is for me because I enjoy the character. If you have no idea what you're looking at, no, you're probably going to go, yeah, it's probably not for me. But in terms of getting a figure, getting a vehicle, so to speak, you get a bunch of weapons, accessories, the whole enchilada. Yes, if you would have had extra head portraits, that would have been even better, of course. But he just comes with the horse, of course. So all boxed up, ready to go. And of course, in true McFarlane fashion, there will be a platinum variant to this Jonah Hex. Now, in looking at it, I can honestly tell you that, no, I don't want this one. I want just the standard Jonah Hex. This one will have a white horse. A couple things are swapped out, mostly just the paint, the colors of things, all blue for the shirt, same sort of trench coat, but yes, largely I would tell you, uh, that one definitely wouldn't be for me. It just doesn't scream Jonah Hex, so fingers crossed, now that I've ordered this, hopefully they keep that as their online lottery sort of deal for the Platinum Editions. If you want it, maybe they'll go that route, but no, I just want standard Jonah Hex. This one uh, definitely not for me, not much for the changes overall. So good as a platinum, but not a platinum I desire. But regardless, like I said, if you want them, McFarlandStore.com. Don't forget to use the code MTS10 to get a little bit of a percentage off. It does help, basically pays for the shipping, if anything. But hey, saved money is saved money. But as always, I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Jonah Hex. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, more of this, please. Now, I'm not saying keep it on the McFarland store all the time, but make it more of that collector's item. The adult collectors, give them the appropriate weapons, the accessory, you know. That's the kind of thing I want to see for the adult McFarland Toys Collector's Edition, as opposed to whatever's been happening lately. And when I say lately, it's been a few years now. <laughs> when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.